Hello, it's Elder here. And today I want to go ahead and review the Smilet and Tac 12 Camper Shovel by Macy Brook. Cool thing about this e-tool is that it's multi-purpose. There's all sorts of uh, gadgets, so to speak, or multi-applications that you could have just by carrying one tool. So I want to go ahead and share some of these features with you. So as I open it up, we have our manual here that has uh, all the information that you need on the specs and also how to operate the, uh, the camper shovel. Starting out here with the business end, which is basically the shovel head. Uh, pretty cool design, very cool looking. Certainly something that you can utilize as a self-defense tool. It has a chopper end here that's relatively sharp. Has a hook here, also a blade on the end. Has a chisel on the tip itself. Has a full blade here. Here is a pruning blade. In here you have a drill hole and just very cool looking, feels great, uh, definitely some consistency. It's not just some uh, light, inexpensive thing. This does seem like once uh, you put it through the paces, it will last on you. And then I'll be able to show you a little bit better as I assemble it, but there's actually a pivot button here that will allow you to switch the angles, six different angles that this uh, shovel head can be placed in. So let's go ahead and get into uh, the other parts of this multi-purpose tool. So here's the first piece of the handle. So basically it's just threaded. You can go ahead and screw it in to the actual shovel head. Okay, once that's assembled, now here you can pretty much tell that when I do press this button, I'm able to lock it in various angles. As I mentioned earlier, six full angles. Now there's a lot of specs to the shovel, so make sure you check out my blog post. Uh, because I definitely will miss something crucial in the video review and I want you to have access to that information so make sure you go ahead and check that out okay here on this part of the actual handle as we open it up there is a blade on one end and a saw on the other go ahead close that back up and remember if you are utilizing this for that you can just go ahead reverse it Screw that into there, and you're able to go ahead and use your saw or your blade with the handle. Also a handy little uh, bottle opener there. Always uh, key in a pinch. So go ahead, close that up. Okay, we have the next part of our handle here. It's basically the end piece. So we'll go ahead, screw that on with the threads. Very simple. Good consistency here. Good gripping here especially for somebody like me that's always sweating especially out in the field so it has this little uh, diamond type grip here which is nice on the end here there's a couple different features first off if I just unscrew the the end cap there is a small ferro rod actually not even that small that uh, actually works very well something good to have in a pinch especially when it's already attached to the tool that you're gonna bring with you anyway another feature that I really like about this uh, is especially with uh, for me you know always uh, capturing videos that I could go ahead and share with you is it has this little threaded end here that I can go ahead and screw to the top and you have the attachment here for your camera for your GoPro whatever camera that you're actually utilizing in the field and it's uh, relatively standard so a uh, great feature because you could go ahead and bed the shovel into the ground and be able to use it as a uh, functioning tripod so to speak or monopod now a few of the other features that this kit comes with. It comes with a small first aid kit. So remember, there's a lot of hollowness in the handle, so you can go ahead and uh, stuff this, uh, these extras in there if that's something that you wanna do. Or of course, you can add uh, other gear that you have that you feel is more pertinent to go ahead and uh, fill in those handles. There is also a small saw that comes there. It always comes in handy. Something, once again, that could fit right inside of these uh, hollow but uh, serious consistency handles. Came, uh, comes with some paracord, all right? never have too much paracord and it also comes with a whistle that you could screw in which is a uh, pretty cool always in a pinch <whistles> relatively loud so it does work so as you can tell you're getting a lot for one tool uh, we're always looking for multi-purpose especially in emergency situations survival situations you might forget something in home you might not have access to something something that you should have had in your go bag and you don't and uh being able to have these little extras uh, in a pinch 
is uh, definitely something that's good and it's good consistency. It's not just garbage fillers that uh, a lot of products that we see these days come with, which is great that it comes with all this stuff, but none of it is basically serviceable because it's junk. In this case, the stuff is all uh, pretty good to go. So I'm definitely impressed with it. Once again, just the feel of it feels like you're really holding something. Like I said, certainly a uh, self-defense weapon, no doubt. Uh, just the way that it feels, just the way that it works, the way that it's actually balanced. But you also got to keep in mind that it needs to work as a shovel because that really is its primary tool or primary uh, purpose for this tool. And uh, that so far, it's done pretty well. And uh, I'm certainly impressed with it. So bottom line. If you're in a market for an e-tool, something that's going to give you multi-purpose, something that's made pretty well, you got good steel, good aluminum, not super heavy, not crazy top heavy, but certainly feels like it's going to do the job for you in a field, go ahead and take, uh, take a look at this uh, camper shovel. I think you will be pleasantly surprised if you do decide to pick one up. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful.